Hi everyone, it's Sarah Bannock here. I hope you're well and having a good week. I wanted to do today's video on the topic of definition of yourself. How do you define yourself? What labels do you associate with yourself? What labels have been placed upon you by other people, helpfully or unhelpfully? This is a topic that I explore quite a lot within my private practice with clients because it's really important for you to understand how you have been defining yourself, the labels that you have been placing upon yourself and to be able to look at them in turns to see whether the truth of a label that was associated with you potentially 15 years ago, still resonates with the person that you are here today. Talking from my own experience, I was diagnosed with dyslexia as a child. I was seven years old when I was diagnosed. And I remember at that time, my older brother telling me, well, you're not very bright and um, you're gonna struggle and you're not gonna be able to read and write in the way that I can. And me feeling very much separated and not particularly good within myself. And this meant that when I went into school, um, I was lucky enough that I got the extra help um, from the Dyslexia Institute, but that I did struggle with my reading and my writing. And that label that had been placed upon me uh, really came home to roost to the point that I stopped trying almost because I thought, well, what's the point? I am the person that I am and I am the diagnosis that I have been held to account. This all changed when I was 15. Uh, I was doing a production of a Midsummer Night's Dream and the school that I was at were going on tour. And it just so happened that the actor that they'd got to play Puck uh, unfortunately wasn't able to go on that tour. So the director had called me up at the last minute and asked me to take on this role. So I had a week to learn the role of Puck, which is a pretty big role within the Shakespeare's a Midsummer Night's Dream. And the first thing that I thought to myself was, I can't do it because I'm not very good at remembering things. But then I thought again, and for me at that point, I had a real desire to act. It's what I wanted to do. And I thought, I can do this. I can do this, I can train myself. And I want to do this. It meant every night sitting in a bath for hours on end, listening to the recording of myself going on, on over and over the lines. But the point was, I did do it and I got out onto that stage and I fell in love with acting and this is what that I went on to train in and do for over a decade. If I had had that belief of my seven-year-old self, I would never have allowed myself that opportunity. And so I just want you this week to check in with yourself and see what are the labels that you are living your life under and are these the most helpful and supportive labels that you can be uh, adhering to or is there a better and more supportive way for you to redefine who you are today? You have the capability at any time, anywhere, any place to create a new way of supporting yourself so that you can go on in turn and live the best possible life. And so I really encourage you to get honest with yourself and look at the potential shortfalls that you feel that you have within yourself and challenge yourself that are they your actual truth or is it time for you to find that redefined self? As always, I'm always here to help. So please do get in touch if you have any questions or queries and I'll look forward to chatting to you all again soon. Many thanks. Bye-bye.